Ahoy YouTube, this is Cornstalk1989. I finally did it. I am finally bringing you my first Modern Warfare 3 game that I said I was going to do. Um, I had some issues with the recording. I, like I said in my last video, uh, my headsets weren't working. If you see my the screen right now, I'm sitting there. I just realized I had to change my sensitivity. <laughs> my, after my first kill, I realized I, didn't, I wasn't playing tactical. I had to switch that up. Um... So yeah, this is my first game. It's not very good. I just told myself I'd have to put it up because uh, it's kind of like my first impressions of it. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot of fun, obviously. Um, have a little bit. Of, have a little bit of issues with it. And actually, the only issue I really have is the theater mode is really kind of quirky. Um, if you see throughout the video when you see me shaking so from side to side like really fast, it's the it's the theater mode doing that. I don't have a habit of shaking my head no all the time. Um, other than that, though, it's pretty it's pretty good. It's a lot more balanced than any Infinity Ward game has made. Um, the Type 95, um, since I've unlocked that, I feel like that's a little bit a little bit OP, not all that bad. Um, otherwise, I mean, most of the game most of the guns are balanced, but different enough to where it feels like you're it's they're different guns. In Black Ops, they kind of felt like they're all the same gun. They all killed everything the same speed. It, you know, there was no differentiation. In this game, at least, there's some differentiation, so I really like that. Uh, I like the new point streak system. Um, I think in this game, yeah, I'm using uh, I'm using the support the support strike package. Um, I really like that. You know, the kills don't reset on upon, upon death, and I die a lot, so <laughs> it works. It works really good. It works. It works uh, very well for my kind of playing style. Um, and it really helps out. I think this is a TDM. Yeah, it's a TDM. Um, first game, I was trying to learn the map. I couldn't figure out, like, where these guys were shooting me from, so finally decided I had to go and explore some buildings. And, uh, I mean, otherwise it was a lot of fun. It's, uh, I mean, the first night we played it, uh, this was obviously opening night, first game. Um, I think I played till 5 in the morning. <laughs> I told myself, oh yeah, we'll go to the midnight release, we'll play it till like 2, you know, I'll go to bed, I gotta go to school the next morning. No, I played till 5. I felt like crap the whole rest of the day. Um, <laughs> and then I did it again the next night. And uh, this is, uh, today is Thursday as I'm recording this, and, uh, you know, I'm feeling better. <laughs> I kind of had some uh, throat issues after I stayed up all that late, so I didn't want to do my commentary right away. And, uh, sound like crap like I did in the last commentary, so... I'm gonna do it this way. Um, a couple of game modes that I really like in this game. Um, I really like Kill Confirmed. Uh, obviously, I'm a big fan of Domination as well. Uh, Kill Confirmed is now... It's taken over as my new favorite game type. Um, it's got... It's... It's just awesome. Because in TDM, the winning team is usually the one that camps the hardest. In uh, Kill Confirmed, it kind of makes everybody want to use more submachine guns and more rushing classes, and it's just a lot more action-packed and just a lot more fun in general. Um, otherwise, uh, I like Domination. Uh, the maps that they have, they're set up really good in Domination. They've kind of made it to where um, it's less of a linear Domination match, and that means you know you got all three flags in a straight line. So if you have to, so you if you have B flag and you know A or C, whichever one you spawned on. You can pretty much dominate that whole round. In in uh, the new maps, they have a little bit more that are more triangulated, to where you know uh, this map. I think it's fallen, especially. It has a really good triangulation of the maps of the flags. So if you uh, look at me, I'm waiting on my care package. Um, you know, triangulation. I had no idea what this was, by the way. So I keep cutting myself off. I have no clue what the hell that thing was when I first got it. So I didn't know what to do with it. I just said it somewhere. I don't think I ever got a kill with it. I felt like an idiot. Um, but anyway, map um, flag triangulation uh, in this game. In this this map especially, um, you can change flag. You can change flags really quickly, and you know you don't feel like you're spawn trapped. Or if you're doing the spawn trapping, you don't feel like they can sneak out as easy. It's kind of weird. Like there's no power flag to have, if that makes any sense. Like how B flag is if you have a linear map. Like, if you hold B-Flag, you've got the game, pretty much. There's no there's no power flag like that in this game. So I, I like that. Um, another thing I really like is, uh, you know, some of the perks are really cool. Um, I'm, I'm obviously, I'm using, a, you know, one of the preset classes, but 
I'm a really big fan of Quick Draw. Um, that's a really good perk. Um, <laughs> I'm not a big fan of Assassin Pro. I got I ha I don't know if I have it unlocked yet because I haven't played much after my first couple of days couple of days playing. But Assassin Pro seems really overpowered to me, and I don't like saying that because I want to support the game and stuff. But I know it doesn't get shown up on advanced UAVs. Um, it doesn't get affected by EMPs either, which is kind of weird. So I'm not sure if I like that. I, hopefully they patch that up or something. If not, I'm a little bummed. It's not a game breaker for me. It's kind of like Ghost and Black Ops. Um, otherwise, I mean, I, I think they really did a good job with this. The creative classes are amazing. It's You can have, you know, different strike packages and different kill streak setups in the strike packages per class. Uh, it's really good, and I have, I'm having a lot of fun with it. Uh, I'm going to have another video coming out sometime soon um, where I kind of go over uh, I think my next my next one will be a kill confirmed gameplay where I kind of go over the uh, the recon drone um, it was my first time using it I'll kind of give my thoughts on that um, otherwise I mean the game the game itself the, the kill streaks speaking of they're really balanced um, you know there's none that are really overpowered in support I I mean, um, the stealth bomber. The stealth bomber is awesome because in support you really don't have a lot of like a lot of uh, kill streaks to get you kills. Um, so I really like that. Um, I run. I usually run that most of the time. Actually, uh, I like the Sam turret. It man, I get a lot of points destroying UAVs in this game. Um, like I said, Recon Drone I really like. Um, you'll find out in the next video why. Um, other than that, I mean, support's really good. I haven't dabbled too much in Assault. I really like... It kind of seems like the same as MW2 setup to me. Um, just with different names on things. Uh, other than that, though, I mean, I really like it. Specialist class I like as well. Um, not as much. I think support's going to be my main strike package, I think. Um, other than that, guys, uh, it's, the video's winding down here. I think I like I only go nine and four, but Craig has a uh, Shady Roids has a really amazing uh, gameplay or gameplay um, kill death in this one for his first game ever, and he gets the final kill cam using a noob tube. What a pro! Um, other than that, guys, thank you for watching, and I will uh, I will talk to you later. Have a good one.